Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Today we're going to go into standard costs in production. So we've been going on production things, creating production orders, bill of materials, finished goods, stuff like that, but we've completely ignored costing. There's a reason for that. Costing just is hard in uh, production. Doesn't matter what system you're using, um, there are so many different options and things you can do. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is show you how to roll up cost. That's kind of the first thing. Uh, if I get into, I created new, two new items here, standard coffee beans and standard ground coffee. Reason why it's called standard, the costing method is standard. All right. So um, for the coffee beans, I've set up standard coffee uh, costing method and it's three dollars. Three dollars for each pound. So what does it mean to have a standard costing? Standard costing is like, hey, we're we think we're going to pay three dollars for this most of the time. So I'm going to calculate three dollars when I'm estimating the cost of my finished good. Uh, and then the system will handle variances from these three dollars, whether we're better or worse. Um, OK, so also I created the standard ground coffee. That's also standard costing method, but I have not calculated the cost of this. Now, the ground coffee is, of course, a production uh, item. So we make it. It has a production bill of material attached to it. And if I go into that one, and just take a look at it. Uh, I can see here we have standard coffee beans. So one pound goes into making uh, this ground coffee and it has a scrap percentage of 10%. So technically we need 1.1 pound to make one pound of coffee. All right, that was hard to say, but <laughs> I hope you got it. All right, so um, close this out, close that out. Uh, now, what I want to do is have the system automatically figure out the cost for this based on the bill of material that it's attached to. So, of course, I have really simple bill of material, one item going into another item. That's it. But we could have many and scrap could be different on all these items. This could be hard to calculate. You could even have sub assemblies, meaning that some of the items are actually made themselves. So they need to be rolled up. Um, so how do we do this? Well, there's a magic trick in an AV. It's technically standard for most production systems. We go into something called standard cost worksheet. Uh, and in here, let me just delete this because uh, I was just testing this out, uh, making sure it works. So I can go ahead first and hit suggest item standard cost. And I'll just pick the item that I want to calculate for, which is going to be the uh, standard ground coffee right here. And now it actually populates the worksheet with the standard ground coffee, but it has not calculated the new standard cost. So the old standard cost is zero, the new is still set at zero. Now we need the system to roll it up to actually give me a new standard cost. So if I go here and do roll up standard cost, and I hit, uh, let me see, first select the item, of course, um, standard ground coffee, like so. Now I get the cost as 330. So all I have to do now is hit implement standard cost changes, and it'll update the cost on the item. Uh, it could also update the indirect cost. I can set that as new and overhead rate. Now these are not calculated. This is something you set manually and uh, they basically add to the cost and accrue to, for that into accounting. So we can go into that later to show you how that works. But basically just hit implement standard cost changes now and the new standard cost is taken in. So that's how you do standard cost worksheet. And I hope you got something out of that. Thank you.